So we all know everybody hates pull to seat connectors. I hate them, so does everybody else. This is old technology and quite frankly a pain in the ass. But uh, so what we did here was we took these old pull to seat connectors that everybody uses for your ignition 1A coils, genuine holly coil here. What we did was we designed a GT150 push to seat connector. This is just for you wiring guys. No more of that pull to seat old school junk. These will save you so much time, be a cleaner install, and we also include a lip on the back for your Raykim boots. Terminals for these are cheaper than the old pull to seats. Your standard GT150 terminals will work perfect for these. These are a few pennies a piece, easily found. These are going to cut down install times by probably half. These are right around the same price as the pull to seat connectors, just a little bit more in low volume for uh, anything up to 100. These are $4.99 a piece. Over 100, they're $3.99 a piece, and we have some higher quantity bulk discounts. Um, let's walk you through how to put one of these together. Guys, what we have here is I have a 22 gauge Crosslink TXL wire as well as a 16 gauge Crosslink TXL wire. These are your most commonly used wires in automotive, the great quality, high heat resistance, and 16 is the largest gauge that uh, these connectors can technically fit. Um, you can put 14 in them though I would not advise it. It compromises the seal integrity. So we have a uh, your two common GT150 terminals. One of these terminals is made to hold 16 and 18 gauge wire. The other terminal was made to hold 22 and 20 gauge wire. We'll start with the uh, 16. Usually I use a blue seal with these on 18 and 16s. Put your seal on. Grab your terminal. I like these. Most any universal crimping pliers will do this. So now we get to the seal area. These need to be very tightly sealed. The 3.5 millimeter center line connectors have a smaller hole. You can do that with these. It is a little tricky. If you have any of the other universal crimpers that have the circular style crimp, you'll see that uh, lots of sizes that are offered here. This is actually for a GT150 terminal but it is for a 4.5 millimeter center line and the smallest hole on this is not small enough. So what I have here which is handy is uh, what TE suggests for their 1.0 terminals and it has a very small circular crimp that works perfect for the 3.5 millimeter center line GT stuff. So as you can see, now we have terminal crimp with the seal. So just like any other GT connector, slide it in till it clicks, pull, it's locked, lock the CPA, now you're tight. So to remove the CPA, I like my flush cuts. Anything to pull this red cover off. Um, there's two locks right here, it snaps pretty tight, so uh, I'll show you my method, that simple. If you want to get into the terminal, say you pinned it completely wrong, you can pop this the rest of the way off and you can see the latches that hold the terminals. So depending is just like any other GT150 connector, simply raise the latch you can remove these right out the back for servicing. As you can see, these fit perfectly every time. These are made of a glass filled nylon, the exact same composite that would be used in a Delphi Aptive connector, super tolerant to heat, will last you just as long or longer than the other connectors. And that's all there is to it.